sound when they start to combine Jazz and hip hop playing at the same time Bust out a rhyme and maybe another This true life is for my sisters and brothers You know we a good time when they start to combine Jazz and hip hop playing at the same time I was born in Brownsville but I was raised in Best Stop. I've been here, you can say, most of my life because I frequent the neighborhood. Even when I didn't live here, I was still here. You know, I have family history on this block. You know, my great-grandmother migrated here from West Virginia in the 40s and practically our whole bloodline was raised in one building. The things I like the most about Bed-Stuy are the people, the cultures, the food, you know, the fact that everything is right here. We have a big park in Bedside that they do free concerts in every summer. So there's always something to do here. Whether it's in the park playing basketball or uh, uh, you want to just go and play handball or you just want to sit in the park and shoot the breeze. But I actually started the tournament in 2014. And again, it was started because, you know, there was a, a shooting on a bus that year. And I was approached by my neighbor and he asked me, what could we do to make the neighborhood safer? So I suggested a basketball tournament. And, you know, I did it to keep a lot of these kids out of trouble, you know, to try to send the neighborhood in a different direction. And I, yeah, I had a sponsor, but it was mainly me and my footwork and the hard work I put into it. So this is like literally my tournament and I'm gonna run it as I see fit and I'm gonna do it as I see fit. And I don't allow disruptions because if one kid causes a problem for, for the tournament, his whole team will be dismissed. This will be the third year of the tournament and like it's getting better each year from the first year. The first year was really good and like it's getting more fun because more people are finding out about it and more people are coming down. So as the years continue, it's like bringing more people into it and it's making it more fun, more challenging. As a kid, we, we were taught that this was a village and it was always the chief. So now I feel like I have to be the chief of this village because I'm from the old school. I mean, like I said before, if, if you did something, it generally reached your house before you got there. So you generally got two spankings, like one from the person that saw you do it and another one when you got home. During the summertime, instead of doing nothing, JC come and like call my cell phone and told me, oh, we have a game, we have a game. So it keeps me moving. It helps me get up in the morning because I don't like get up and waste time. My wisdom is this towards these, towards these children, these kids, whatever, is to always strive to be the best. Never let nobody tell you you can't do something, you can't do this, you can't do that, because for years and years and years, can't was a word I scratched out of my vocabulary because I don't believe in that word, can't. There's no such thing as can't. You can always do whatever you put your mind to. I'm always trying to reach the rim, reach the rim. I was always up there, but like the ball would never go down. I would try to dunk and the ball just bounce right off. Then a couple of times I got it. So when the game come, when the game came, I just went up. I didn't know I was gonna make it. It just went down. When he took off, he just kept going higher and higher and higher. And all you see was this kid underneath him. And you know, when he slammed it, I I mean, the park like went crazy because nobody was expecting that from him. It was something that he just came out of the woodworks with. So like now it's like, you know, they want more from him. I play defense really good. And I love playing defense. I like defense more than offense. Because if you can play defense and get into your opponent's head and mess up their game, it'll make your offense easier. I can't stress defense enough because these kids don't understand that defense wins championships over and over and over again. It's not how good you can shoot, but if I need you to hold a man that's like, he has 36, 37 points already and I'm like getting sick of him, it would be Mike that I would call him because he knows what I expect from him. The only thing I have to say right now is um, everybody coming to take our titles, good luck. Because we're not giving them up that easy.